I'm just really, really feeling really sad today. I miss him so much. My boyfriend of two years moved out ten days ago, and... I'm just really, really feeling really sad today. I miss him so much. And I know that... I know it's the right decision, but it's just, it's so hard. I'm so sad. <laughs> And I wish I could be mad at him. It would make it so much easier, but I can't. There's no anger. There's only love. <laughs> and it's excruciating. <laughs> and I know I have valid reasons. And I know it's the best thing in the end. But it's so hard. So hard. I miss him so much. <laughs> if you're going through the same thing, I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're going through this. And you're really strong. It takes a really strong person to do this and to not change their mind and say, you know what, forget it. Forget everything I said. Just come back. I don't want to be alone. And I'm scared to be alone. But I made a commitment to myself when I left my husband that I was never going to ignore my intuition I was never going to ignore that little voice that said, Claire, something's not right. And I guess I love myself more than I love him. And I know that's a victory. <laughs> I know that that's a good thing. That I love myself enough to not settle for less than I deserve, less than I want. But it's so hard. It's just so hard. <laughs> For the last little while, I have been feeling like I don't know what I want to do with my life. I thought I wanted to be a life coach, but now I'm not sure. And what I really want to do is help women leave relationships who feel stuck people include men in there I want to help anyone who is in a relationship that no longer works for them is toxic or abusive I want to help them find a way out but I have no idea how to do that And it seems massive, it seems inconquerable, it seems beyond me. And if I'm 100% honest, I don't want it to negatively impact my ex. Because he's not a bad person. He did some bad things. He did not treat me as I should have been treated, but he is not a bad person and I do not want to hurt him. And by me saying that I felt stuck in our relationship and wanted to leave for several years, it feels like that hurts him. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I'm holding back. I'm holding back on 
what I really want to do in life. Because I don't want to hurt him any more than I already have. I'm sorry. I want to tell him that I'm sorry I hurt him. And that our relationship got more and more toxic. But it was the hardest thing I've ever done because I knew it was going to I knew it was going to break your heart. And I hope someday you see that I did this for both of us because we couldn't stay living like that. We just couldn't. Not if we wanted to be fulfilled, happy people, individuals. And I wish the best for you. I really do. And I know we hurt each other, but I hope that someday there's no tension or animosity. And I hope that I hope that you'll forgive me. I had to get out. I had to get out if I wanted to be well. And if I wanted you to be well. Some people think that, you know, when you're the one to leave a marriage that it's easy and you're just instantly happy and that's not true. It's not true. It's incredibly difficult. It's so hard. You know you're breaking that other person's heart but you know you have to do it anyway. And it was soul crushing. But I've done a lot of tough things in my life. I've done a lot of hard things. And I am resilient. And I'm, I'm starting to love myself. And I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm not going to people please anymore. It's, I just can't. It's too hard. I'm not going to mask. I'm not going to pretend. I'm going to be my real self. <laughs>